Among the many points that I would make in advice to a young scientist is to get yourself into an environment where you might encounter and collaborate with true geniuses. And by that, I mean it quite literally that there are some people whose work we immensely respect. They have wonderful heuristics for how to conduct research, how to look at a problem space and find the real problem, how to elegantly prune out those avenues I was talking about, uh, how to evaluate whether uh, uh, an idea is a good one. In addition, they are great idea generators, as well as being uh, formulators and pruners. They're great idea generators. I was remarking to someone today that uh, we, in this um, uh, Dendral project, the uh, first expert system project that we did at Stanford, we'd have a table full of people, which were some computer scientists and um, Lederberg and uh, some of the chemists we were collaborating with, uh, including yet another genius, Carl Gerasi, who was head of the mass spectrometry lab, but he was also the inventor of the birth control pill. And Lederberg would just sit there and spout out ideas like it was a fireworks show. And 99 out of 100 of those ideas, in this is a weekly meeting, 99 out of 100 of those ideas were not great ideas that we could use. One out of 100 would keep us busy for the next three months. And that was fantastic. So, if you're a young person and you have a chance to mingle around the faculty or the researchers at Microsoft Research or any other place you might be, try to sense that out. Who are those people? Who are... There, there is a qualitative difference between a very fine professor and researcher and one of these geniuses. There's really a big difference. Uh, that's also, if you're interested in AI, that's a, a wonderful thing to reflect about. That is, as you get involved deeply with these people, you begin to study, like, how is it that he's so much smarter than I am? You know, I thought I'm really good, but wow, what did, how did he get that idea? And that gives you some ideas about uh, what next to do.